Good evening, and welcome to our third midweek um, Advent service. We have one more after today, um, so please uh, join us again next Wednesday. Uh, I believe there will also be a soup supper next Wednesday, Wednesday um, beginning at 6. Um, just one other announcement. Um, we need to decorate the tree after uh, service tonight, so if anybody is available to stay for a few minutes, um, the more hands we have, the quicker we can get it decorated, but we want to have it decorated for this Sunday. So if you're able to stay, that would be greatly appreciated. And the last announcement is when we do the, uh, the hymn for tonight, Shepherd Me, O God, um, the congregation will be singing the refrain. Chris and I will be singing the verses, just so you have a heads up on that. So now as we prepare our hearts and our minds for worship, we will gather our quiet offering. Our Advent offering is supporting Family Promise of Grand Rapids. Please stand. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine on your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our songs to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, of the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul, love that bursts all chains asunder, Set us free and make us whole. You made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night. Make us shine with gentle justice. Let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all, and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is, it is right, right to, to give, give God, God thanks, thanks and, and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. 
May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways. And you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. My prayer rise up, my prayer rise up, my prayer rise up, my prayer up, my And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who watch. In the time of Jesus, the night time was divided not by our 60-minute hours, but by watches. Keeping a night watch usually meant being on guard during your watch. It required one to be awake and alert to any form of danger. In the 26th chapter of Matthew's Gospel, Jesus had just finished sharing his Last Supper with his disciples when he took them to a place of prayer. It was a night watch. In verses 36 to 39, we read, Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here. And stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible for this cup to pass from me, yet not my will, but what you want. 
During this Advent season, we are reflecting on a prayer from the nighttime liturgy of Compline that begins, keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Tonight's focus is on those who keep watch with God. In the gospel story of Jesus praying at Gethsemane, we see that prayer is being in the presence of God. Jesus wanted his friends to be with him when he went out to pray. Certainly Jesus' own words were a powerful prayer. But more than the words of prayer, Jesus wanted to be upheld in the network of his friends. Maybe you have heard some friend say to you, I will be praying for you. These are not empty words. I think of them as the cords of a hammock that you can lean back into and then let go and be held up. When you experience that holding support, you know that you're being held by the presence of those who are praying for you. I think that's what Jesus wanted. He wanted to pray in the presence of his circle of friends and be upheld by them. Jesus also wanted his disciples to participate with him in his night watch. In verse 41, Jesus says to them, Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. By the way, that phrase, phrase, time of trial, is also translated as Temptation, the word we use most often in the Lord's Prayer, lead us not into a time of trial. Jesus' desire for his disciples to participate with him in his watch was not like those on guard at a Roman army garrison. So when a mob came to take Jesus by force, one of his own disciples drew a sword and cut off the ear of the slave of the high priest. But Jesus said to him, put your sword back in its place. He said if he needed that kind of support, he could ask his father who would send 12 legions of angels. In our nighttime prayer, we too need to put away the so-called swords that we use during the daytime and trust the night to the angels of God. The Compline prayer puts it this way, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. A third dimension of keeping watch with God is being expectantly alert to the goodness of what God is doing in our lives and in the world, to be attentive to the action of God. In her book, Prayer in the Night for Those Who Work or Watch or Weep, a book that I've been using as a reflection point. The author, Tish Harrison Ward, shares with her readers how she was coping with multiple losses at that time in her life, including two miscarriages. And she writes, In those months, my daughters would often ask me to explain why miscarriages happen. And I'd tell them what my favorite doctor told me. For a baby to be born, 10,000 things have to go just right. And I'd add, but this also means that for you to be alive today, 10,000 things and far more went just right. She then expands this insight. This is a wonder that captures my imagination. I'd be in a crowd on a street or in church on Sunday and look at each face. And think of the hundreds of thousands of things that had to go just right for us to be alive in the world together on that ordinary day. I lapped up wonder, attentive to any sign of life, any hint of comfort. Those who keep watch, keep watch for what God is doing in the world. So keep watch, dear Lord, with those who watch. Keep watch with those who are present to another and uphold them in a network of prayer. 
Keep watch with those who participate with our Lord's praying, putting away the sword, and trusting the night time to the legions of angels. Keep watch with those who watch for any sign of comfort in the 10,000 things and more that had to go right for us to be alive and together here tonight. So I would invite you to pray with me the night prayer. It's printed in your bulletin insert, or you may do so from memory if you have committed it to memory at this point. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. We'll conclude this time of reflection by singing the hymn 780. It's in your hymn book, 780, Shepherd Me, O God. shepherd so nothing shall I want I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love I walk by the quiet waters of peace shepherd me O oh God beyond my wants beyond my fears from death into life. into life Though I shall wander the valley of death I fear no evil for you are at my side Your rod in your staff my comfort and my hope Shepherd me Beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life.
shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the Chosen One of God Most High. And Mary said, I am a servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One. Strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lonely one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forevermore. You, your soul, proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. we pray to you. God of mercy, hold us in love. For peace between nations, for peace between people. God of mercy, hold us in love. For we who are gathered to worship and praise you. For all of your servants who live out your gospel. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who govern that justice might guide them. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who labor in service of others. Grant whether that nourishes all of creation. God of mercy, hold us in love. Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy. Help us, comfort us all of our days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us bless our God, praising thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Let us depart in peace and have a quiet evening. Thanks be to God.